before we even say our good mornings and our salutations, I feel like we should just address the elephant in the room. No, I don't mean the laundry behind me. I mean the fact that I might be having my morning coffee from maybe the greatest mug of all time. Also, I look so tired. I mean, honestly, look at this. How can your day not be off to a completely marvellous start? when you're getting your caffeine from this little guy. I bet this isn't still in stock, which is gonna be really annoying for a lot of people, but it was originally from Shop Disney, so I guess keep your eye out on that. Good morning, guys, from me and Grogu. Hope you're doing well. I don't like to apologize for my appearance on here anymore. I feel like we're all grown ups here. I think we've all got this slightly sickly look going on at the moment from weird sleeping patterns and not going outside very often. We're just gonna overlook that. The reason that I look particularly tired today is because I just don't really sleep anymore. <laughs> That's a bit of an over-exaggeration, but basically I was talking about this on Instagram fairly recently and so many people replied to say that they were having the same experience where all the way through this whole crazy time of the last 12 months or whatever, the dreams that I have been having and have had over the past few months are so intense that I wake up and I feel like I haven't rested. A lot of people on Instagram said they were experiencing the same, where your dreams are so intense. They're not necessarily nightmares, although I've been having those too, that you feel completely unrested and like your brain has been still working and working and working all night. And, it, and I've, I'm obviously not getting very good quality sleep because I wake up and I look like I've been awake for three weeks on the drop. So yeah, I don't really know what that is all about. It's, it must be the very, very strange combination of like complete over and under stimulation at the moment. Like overstimulation because I'm constantly worrying about everything and stressing about everything and, you know, overthinking things over and over and over all of the time. But then also completely understimulated because there's not actually... A whole lot going on. The past couple of weeks I've started exercising regularly which has definitely helped. I definitely feel a lot more tired at the end of the day now and that's definitely helping me get better sleep but yeah it's just crazy. I don't know what my brain is doing right now but it's not thriving. Let's put it that way. <laughs> Continues to drink more coffee. So today is a new day. Today is a fresh start. I'm wearing a McFly sweatshirt, all is well. I'm doing a little bit of work on the computer this morning, so I'm trying to get that done first thing. I'm just going through emails. Blah de blah de blah, blah de de blah blah blah. Once I've got that out of the way, I've kind of boxed off today. I did quite a lot of work over the weekend last weekend, so I'd kind of given myself most of today to not do work things because I've got a little bit of painting that I want to do in the bedroom. I want to start painting the woodwork. So I'm going to get my paint brushes out and my overalls on later and we'll do a bit of that. Adam has actually just informed me. I'm just heading over to Spotify right now. because Adam's just informed me that there's a new Kings of Leon album out today. He was listening to something when I went down to make my coffee and I was like, hang on a second, is that Kings of Leon? And he was like, yeah, yeah, I've got a new album out. So I'm gonna... I'm gonna soundtrack my morning with a little bit of the Follow Will Brothers for old time's sake. Although, do you know what? Now that I've started thinking about Kings of Leon, I just wanna listen to Because of the Times and Only by the Night because <laughs> they are the soundtracks of my late teen years. Like, those albums are just the epitome of being like 17, 18 to me. If you were a teenager around like 2008, 2009 in the UK, You'll know exactly what I'm talking about. You will have been right beside me. You will have had your footless tights on. You will have been watching the first season of Skins on repeat over and over on DVD. And you will have been listening to Kings of Leon. It's like that meme of the woman like side by side, her facial expressions where she's like, listen to new Kings of Leon. Listen to old Kings of Leon. So bedroom is in complete and utter disarray right now, looking super cute and interior's goals. But there is a reason for it, for once. This isn't the new carpet, as you'll probably be able to notice <laughs> from this nice two-tone effect that's currently going on. I actually started doing this little job yesterday afternoon and I didn't bother turning the camera on because I wasn't sure how much difference it was actually going to make. I wasn't sure that watching me paint white paint over a slightly yellower white paint was going to make all that interesting vlog content, but I mean, needs must. We all know we're scraping the barrel right now for content, but having woken up and seen actually the difference that it has made, I thought it might be quite a satisfying little vlog montage. So I did the skirting down here, I've done the fireplace, I worked my way around here, and I got bored halfway through the wardrobe. <laughs> Three guesses where I stopped painting yesterday. This is actually shocking though, isn't it? And it was at that point she realised she was hungry and had earned a burger. <laughs> it's not until you make it look better 
that you realise how bad it looked in the first place. I mean, look at this. That's an absolute shocker. It's just one of those things that we skipped because I was being super duper lazy. I'll fully hold my hands up and say it was just a really lazy job. This like transformation was part of a brand deal that I did with Valspar. Um, and obviously you get a deadline when you do brand deals. So I was racing to the finish line to get that work done on time. So we definitely had to skip a few corners when we were painting this room. But now that I can see what it's actually supposed to look like, I can't believe we had it so gross for such a long time. So one thing I did actually do, thank God, when we sanded the walls, I did all the sanding and stripping of the woodwork as well. So it is prepped and ready to go. Let's get a nice little satisfying before shot of this wardrobe. I can't believe the difference. That is absolutely crazy, isn't it? I, like if you'd asked me, I would have said, oh, it's a tiny bit grubby. I am also gonna say goodbye to these slightly gaudy door handles that we've got going on these were on the wardrobes let me try and show you these were on the wardrobes when we moved in and they're this like amber colored giant plastic crystal and i actually don't hate them you know i do like that kind of warm toned amber color but they're just they're just a bit mad so just to get it a little bit more kind of in line with our style i bought some nice little they're almost like little loops and they're a bit more minimal and just a little bit a little bit fresh and a bit more modern so i'm gonna try and swap them over for that i wonder if i should maybe take them off to paint rather than painting around them brainwave live on camera so please excuse the mess because i've had to just shove everything over this side of the room for now but my paint overalls are on these are becoming a real collage of the colours of this house. We've got some nice brown, some peach. By the end, this is going to be an absolute Joseph and his amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat moment. Paint that we are going for today, ladies and gentlemen. This is by a brand called Lick. Um, this is their shade White 01, and I've gone for eggshell. The white walls in the spare room are Lick White 01 as well, and they are so lovely and bright and crisp and fresh. So we purchased the spare room paint ourselves. I then bought the same paint again to brighten this room up, um, but then Lick actually got in touch. So this eggshell that I'm using today has been gifted just for full transparency, um, but I am a, a previous customer and a future customer because I just think they're great paints. I love all the branding. I also bought all the, all the gear all the gear, no idea. But I will just say off my own back, I think it's great paint. And I really like about Lick is that you can order it online. Stirry, stirry night. Paint your palette. Zero one white. <laughs> Make your skirting nice and bright. Like a delicious custard. Here we go. I've just taken off one of the wardrobe handles. I thought they were gonna be like really stuck on there, but that actually came off super easily. Although now it's sitting in my hand. I'm getting real Philosopher's Stone vibes. Or maybe bed knobs and broomsticks. Adam is just constructing our ultimate go-to weekday lunch right now, which is the humble fish finger wrap. But not as you know it. <laughs> Jazzed up that with some fresh lettuce. What are you gonna say? That doesn't make it sound like I've done more than I actually have to it. Hey, look at that. That looks so delicious. If you told me it was a fish finger wrap, I'd be like, nah. But then you got fresh lettuce. You got fresh red onion. You got some cherry tomatoes. And best of all, I'm a girl who likes my pickles. <laughs> I don't know how else to describe it other than I love pickles. I could probably sit and eat a whole jar of pickles if I really wanted to. I've never done that, but maybe one day. I will do that. But I picked up a couple of jars of these recently. They're called the bread and butter pickles from a little small shop called the Fermentation Station. And this is actually run by a girl I went to school with called Amy. Um, we used to live next door together. We used to be besties when we were little. Um, and I'm not joking when I say these are probably the most delicious pickles I've ever eaten in my entire existence. Adam is nodding along in agreement. They're nice, but I'm not a complete pickle fiend like you. Adam likes one and, or two uh, pickles to spice things up a little. I'll happily have a wrap that is 90% pickle. Here you go, you see, this is what I mean. This is not just any fish finger wrap. You're gonna get a good shot of me trying to wrap it and I'm inevitably gonna yeah, mess up. This is the this is the tricksy part. I mean, enough burritos in my time, but I should, <laughs> should be able to do this. Go for the middle fold, it's, wow. It's quite a big um, 
quite overstuffed this one. Yeah, that was a little ambitious. But once you've got it there... Tuck it all in. And if you're an amateur, you can go for a tinfoil roll as well to help you keep things under wraps. Under wraps. Oh, yeah. It's the money shot. That's the cross section right there. You know it's gonna be a good time when it's in a black and white bag. This little bundle of joy, congratulations to me, a newborn has arrived. And you know what it's full of? It's full of leggings. I'm gonna sit you on my little dressing table stool here. Uh, apologies for the messy bed in the background. I've got piles of things. I haven't bought new clothes pretty much this whole time that we've been stuck at home because I mean, honestly, what is the point? What is the point? Jeans, don't know her. Uncomfy dresses, don't know her. Anything other than tracksuit bottoms or leggings, don't know her. Also flows here. You might be able to see a little blob of fur in the background. But as I think I briefly mentioned earlier in this video, um, I've started really trying to force myself to include proper exercise into my daily routine. Exercise is a very, very tricky topic to me, as it is for a lot of people, because it is so integrally intertwined with weight loss um, and eating disorders and all sorts of things which have plagued my past for as long, for as long as the moon and the sun can remember. There's so much shame that comes involved with your choices around exercise and stuff. Um, so it's not really something I talk about on here. Basically, that's the gist of it. I'm exercising more because that's a part of my self-care that I was really, really neglecting. I just wasn't moving my body enough. I haven't bought anything like this for a really, really long time, so I didn't really know what size to go for, what kind of vibe to go for, so I basically just chose really nice colours. So I actually went for ASOS's own little sporty bit. It's called 4505, which if you think in calculator language, when you used to turn your calculator upside down and spell boobs, um, it actually spells ASOS in number form. I'm gonna give these a try on and see what I think. I'm slightly hesitant about this colour. I feel like it's gonna make me look a little bit like a moomin. This pair I'm a lot more excited about. I think this colour is really nice. It's this kind of nice periwinkle blue colour. If you're after what kind of material they are, they feel exactly like a swimming costume. So so whatever that is, that's what these are made of. Um, but I really like this colour. I've got high hopes for these, I think. thought I would try a pair of proper like sport brand ones to see if they felt any better or worse quality. Um, so I got these Adidas ones, which are like a mint green kind of colour. Uh, and they've got the classic little stripe down them. I really like this colour. I thought it was cute. Um, so we'll see how they fit. They actually are less kind of stretchy and more of like a cotton. Um, so I feel like maybe these might be a little big, but we'll see how we get on with them. And unintentionally, I've actually matched these very well. They're separate brands. This is uh, ASOS 4505 again. Um, but yeah, this little crop top too, which I thought was cute. So I'm gonna try those on. Am I gonna show you this? I, I don't think I'm up to that. I could show you the leggings, I suppose. Uh, gone are the days where I used to wear like Pretty Little Thing festival attire with no shame. Uh, we've taken a little step back in, in the confidence these days, but hey ho. This is pair number one. This is the pair that I was kind of most sure I would quite like. And I really like these. The colour of them is super cute. Sorry about the socks, by the way. They're probably going to throw this whole thing off a little. But yeah, they feel great. I really like the material. It feels kind of quite thick. It hasn't gone see-through anywhere or anything. So yeah, I'm a big fan of these. I wasn't sure how I was going to feel about these little panel details here. But they're really nice. They feel like they're kind of holding my thighs really nicely. Love the colour. Cute. That's a surprisingly good start. Definitely going to keep these. This pair, however... <laughs> As suspected, definitely not the most attractive colour I've ever worn. Kind of just looks like I've got a weird circulation issue happening with my skin tone. <laughs> these are these are actually not the one. Because this is an exercise in private kind of setup, the look doesn't actually matter that much. It's just to give me a little a little boost of confidence. I just don't really want to feel like I look like a moomin, although this pocket is very satisfying. <laughs> and last but not least, pair number three. I really like the colour of these, but they're a bit big, to be honest. They're a bit wrinkly around the knees and around the crotch. And I really like the sports bra as well. I just tried the sports bra on, and that's a really nice fit. Um, so overall, I'd call that a success. And I did also forget to show you this. I also treated myself to the dream 118, 118 style headband. 
because this little fringe setup might look nice day to day. It is not conducive to getting sweaty, let me tell you. <laughs> what, what is happening here? Jim Halper, eat your heart out. Wow, something tells me this isn't how it's supposed to look. <laughs> look, anyone who tells you it's possible to look nice in any form of exercise wear or any form of active movement is a liar and a fraud. <laughs> literally 1.5 days of painting woodwork um, I never want to see paint ever again in my life but I've done it I'm actually really chuffed with myself because I've been putting that job off for such a long time and even though it wasn't that bad to do actually it's made a really big difference to how bright and fresh the room feels so I'm really really pleased that I did it I'll give you a little a little sneak peek I'm still I mean we're still in total disarray but I've built the room back together so I went back round and did the door so the door looks nice and fresh I'd like to change the handle to a brass one I think um, but yeah that definitely looks loads better I've done the fireplace so that's nice and fresh I've moved the mirror over here for now we don't really have a proper space for this mirror we've had it on this wall for a little while but it's just kind of hidden away and in the way of the wardrobe uh, we had it behind the door for a while but we never used it the best spot for it was here but i now have a little dressing table that sits here so it's been booted out of there um so for now i've just got it propped up against the fireplace like this we'll see how we get on with it here anyway the wardrobes look so much better. I can't believe the difference it's made to the wardrobe. I did get around to changing these as well. So these are the new little handles for our wardrobe, which I absolutely love. They're so pretty. Just little pull loops. I really, really like them. And even like the little panel detail on it kind of looks a lot more modern now, rather than looking really dated and like it's something we need to change. I actually think they look great. And the other really big job that I did as well, we got into a really bad habit of just kicking things under here and under the bed to just like move things out of the way and keep them hidden. I hope that anyone who has a pet, a cat or a dog that sheds fur will understand what I mean when I just say the dust. I've never seen anything like it, especially under the drawers and under the bed. It was like we were growing a new cat under there basically. So I got all that out, I've cleaned it all, I've hooved it all, I've scrubbed it all and the whole room just feels like it's been given a bit of a new lease of life. And I think without further ado, it's officially TGIF. <laughs> We're kicking off Friday in style right now. So every Friday at four, Adam does this thing on Zoom with his kind of close colleagues at work where they have like 4 p.m. cocktails on a Friday and just like a little catch up and a chill, which I think is such a nice idea. And it's like one of the things that makes me a little bit jealous that I don't have any colleagues. Obviously working for yourself has a lot of benefits, but it, it is a little bit lonely. So it would be nice to have a little bit of that camaraderie. But it's really nice for him and I'm really happy that he has that. Sorry if you can hear the washing machine like whirring in the background by the way. I've just put a quick load on because I know how to live on a Friday night. So basically what we normally do is that Adam will have a drink with his colleagues upstairs so they can have a catch up and chill out together. And then he comes down and we have one together. And it's like a little, a little wind down for the weekend, which is really nice. What we were gonna do this evening, I mean, this is a bit of an anti-climax really, uh, but we got this really, really lovely Christmas present from Adam's brother and sister-in-law. Um, they bought us a three month subscription to this little box it's called taste cocktails and basically once a month you get oh it's here i can show you you get one of these boxes come through the post and it's everything you need to make a really fancy lovely cocktail you normally get a couple of different options last month we had espresso martinis which always go down very well in this house they are a house fave um, the month before we had normal martinis which are a bit grown up for me <laughs> but this month i mean best of the best we've got mojitos which i mean one of my faves. But um, we've just realized that it doesn't come with any lime juice. So mojitas are on a hold until Saturday night, I think. Uh, so Adam's got himself a beer, which isn't quite as exciting, but I don't mind too much because 
it's a good excuse for me to have the last of the Bloody Mary mix. Now hear me out. Any time in life I ever say that I love a Bloody Mary, I get ripped to shreds. It's got to be real super duper spicy, you know, it's got to have a real, real kick to it. It's got to be really flavourful. Um, but when you get a good one, there is nothing better. I imagine there's maybe two of you out there who also enjoy your Bloody Mary. I feel like 99% of people hate them. So because I am nothing, if not high-end, high-class, I'm gonna have my Bloody Mary, I'm gonna have a packet of salt and vinegar quavers, <laughs> and I think I might even paint my nails. This colour, it's like a dove grey, bluey grey kind of colour. I think it came in a subscription box I got the other day. What is it called? It's called Palace Gardens by Nails Inc. While well, Adam's on his call, before we chill out for the evening, I'm gonna give myself a little, well, I say manicure. I'm just gonna paint my nails because I've bitten my fingers to shreds and there is absolutely no saving them until I can get back to a proper nail appointment one day. That's, that is something I am really looking forward to. I can't decide whether I'm more looking forward to having my nails or my hair done. And I'm gonna watch while Adam finishes his call. There's a really good program on BBC iPlayer at the moment. I say really good. Many people might not think it's very good. Um, it's hosted by Alan Carr and it's like Bake Off, but with interior design. So it's like interior design hopefuls um, that are kind of competing in different challenges every week. So I think that's me done for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed hanging out with me today. It's a very chill one, but um, yeah, it's nice. I always love like having you to keep me company. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments how things are, how you're doing. I'm interested to know these Bloody Mary opinions, so please be sure to let me know. I hope you're doing all right, and I hope you feel a bit like I do, that things are looking a little bit brighter at the moment. Things feel a little bit more hopeful, and I hope you're feeling that as well, because it's a, like a tiny little weight lifted off the shoulders, I think. I've, I've definitely felt a lot less gloomy. Thank you guys so much for watching. Cheers, and I'll see you very soon with another video. Bye. Mwah.